Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've had this look in my head for quite a while and I wanted to get it out there to be rid of it, you know, to create it, to be done with it. And this is what I did today. I realized this is not for everyone because it's more on the editorial side with the, you know, lilac -y colors on the inner corners and the lip. Yeah, a bit different than um, what I'm used to do. But I like it for like a special event or like a fun event something different for a photo shoot definitely this would be a great look so let's get started <laughs> First of all, I'm taking a corrector from the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette and I'm putting this all over the lid and also underneath the eye and on the inner corners. The sponge is from Real Techniques, by the way, it's a mini one. Then I'm going to set that really quickly with the Laura Mercier Loose Powder in Translucent and the brush I'm using here is a tapered face brush from e.l.f. For this look I chose the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and first I'm taking that color which is Eden. It's an orangey peachy color and I'm applying it with a Ziva brush, the 225. This is my transition eyeshadow so to say. I'm not going to use any other eyeshadow in the crease today, just this one. So I'll make it as intense as it can get. And I'm doing like a rounded shape rather. Um, I'm also going a bit outside the eye socket but not very much exaggerated. And I'm blending very well the edges. Next I'm using the Revlon Eyes and Cheeks and Lips palette and first I am going to use the darkest color which is looking like this and I'm going to place it in the inner corners funny enough. I'm not gonna lie this is a bit strange for me to use such a color on the inner corners because I'm a bit conservative I guess I can call myself like that. I like to use lighter eyeshadows on the inner corners and shimmery ones especially but uh, this is another look and I'm rolling with it. Next I'm going to put Twilight on top and this is a very nice uh, creamy buildable eyeshadow and it's a lavender with a metallic finish as you can see it's a duochromed eyeshadow quite a nice one I love it. Then for the liner I'm going to use Essence Eyeliner Pen which is a long lasting one and the shade is 4 as you can see it's basically yellow and for a special look I'm going to you know place my eyeliner quite specially. So I'm not lining the upper lash line as I usually do, I am following the lash line but at a distance. It's like a cut lid, a bit difficult to explain but you see what I'm doing. For now I'm going to use the Ico Mascara in black on the top lashes only and then I'm going to put on the bottom ones as well the same mascara but after I've done my base. Then for false lashes I'm going to use Ardell's Individuals and they are in medium and I'm just going to place a few of them, about four maybe, on the top lash line only. And then with the same mascara I'm coating just the individuals, I'm not putting more mascara on my natural lashes, just on the false ones. I want the focus of this look to be on the eyeshadows, that's why I'm not using band lashes or anything heavy like that to steal the show. I'm going to leave the eyes for now and do my whole base and first I'm applying a moisturizer which is from La Roche Posay. Of course it's the Hydra Face Intense Cream and it's a very hydrating cream. I'm using it every day and then for foundation I'm using Deborah, which is an Italian brand and this is called Dress Me Perfect Foundation in the shade Fair. I'm applying it with a buffing brush from Morphe. This foundation has a dewy luminous finish because it's a feather light consistency and it simply melts into the skin. 
Also, this foundation is not going cakey. You can apply as much layers as you wish because it's very buildable. I don't know if it's a full coverage foundation when you put like two, three layers. I just like to put one and maybe in some places like the T-zone, I apply a little bit more. For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and this is in porcelain. It's a bit light but I like the finish of it so I'm using it now and again and the foundation it's not too dark so it's not going to be you know creepy looking. Then I'm setting my base with the same powder from Laura Mercier and the same brush from ELF. From Zoeva I'm going to take then the Contour Spectrum palette and first I'm taking the bronzing shade. The key to a natural looking bronze is to frame your face in a warm glow. So this is what I'm doing. I'm dusting my cheekbones and my hairline and then I'm going to finish off the frame by blending more bronzer along the edge of my jawline. The contour shade I'm taking then just for underneath the cheekbones. I'm not going to use it anywhere else on my face because it's a greyish brown and it can make you look dead. So this is just for shadows, just to mimic the shadows. For the nose for a natural appearance, I'm always mixing the two powders, the bronzing one and the contour one. My highlighter today is such a beautiful one from Etude House. It's a Korean brand and it's called Secret Beam. Just like the eyeshadow, this is a duochrome highlighter it's a silvery bluish one and also it has a wet finish this is a fantastic brand etude house i'm going to buy some more products from them because i really want to try some foundations and powders and such for a pinky flush i'm going to use deborah's blusher which is in the shade 61 i'm applying it with a blusher brush from my real techniques this is a bit of a tongue twister Brows. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe and I'm almost finished with this one. I need to buy another one. It's just a great product and I cannot be without it. Then on the bottom lash line, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow, nothing. Just a coat of mascara, the same one, and I'm done. Well, not quite, almost, because I still have the lips to do. So yeah, lips, I'm using first a mauve pink on the outer parts of my lips, top and bottom. And then I'm going to take the darkest one and dab it into the middle of my lip. And I'm done. Now I'm done. Guys, this was my editorial look. I really hope you liked it. As always, if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here and also follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, on Facebook and on Vero. And I love you guys. Bonches. I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial. Bye.